Hey, welcome everyone to the review of the Valencia Pavilion 2 Home Theater Seating Collection. If you're looking for a recliner seat or a set of them, this might be the set for you. If you want to read the written version of this review, you can find a link to my website in the video description. The seats come in a number of options, ranging from a single seater and up to five seats in a row. I have five seats, a set of two and a set of three. I actually ended up purchasing mine from Costco Canada. The total for all five recliners was originally a whopping $7,300 Canadian, which is expensive even with our Canadian dollar being weaker than US dollars. Thankfully, Costco had the sets on sale and I got it for $4,700, which is a huge savings, so make sure you look for a sale if you're purchasing this recliner set. I'll go ahead and leave the measurement specs here since the measurements change depending on how many you need. One of the most important things to consider when buying any recliner is space for when the recliner is extended, especially the back if you plan to place it against a wall. The beauty of these seats is that as you recline back, the backrest shifts forward, which is essentially a wall-hugging design. Basically, the depth of any of these seats is 40 inches, but when fully reclined, the back only extends an additional 6 inches, which means when you set up these seats, you won't need much clearance if you're placing it near a wall. The backrest reclining design work well in my basement setup. I don't have the seats against a wall, but behind my 3-seater is my home gym, and behind my 2-seater is my basement kitchen. My basement has limited space, so the reclining ingenuity works perfect for me. When fully reclined and extended, the total depth will reach 69 and quarter inches. This measurement also includes the leg rest. I'm 5 foot 7 inches with a 34 inch waist, and I have about 5 and a half inches of space to spare on each side. If you have a larger frame, I hope those details will help you with your buying decision. The seats are available in a variety of colors and are made of plush leather. As I mentioned earlier, some of the most important things to consider when buying recliners is the price and the measurements. Measurements are always underrated because you have to have enough clearance on the side of the seats, at the back, which has a wall hugging design, so you might be okay, but also the front. Um, the front, you, know, you have your legs you know, stretch out, so if you have like a coffee table nearby and has limited space, just keep that in mind. By purchasing my set through Costco Canada, it came with a free white glove delivery service, which basically means exactly what it says. Uh, a couple of guys came in with white gloves on and they set it up for me exactly what I wanted in my basement. I didn't have to do anything. So while the team was setting it up, I actually watched them and I asked their opinion on what they thought about in terms of ease of setup. And they said it's fairly easy, one of the more simpler things they put together, especially because the base and the backrest kind of just slide into one another. So that part alone is easy. Putting multiple seats together is easy as one side will have a clamp that slides into the seat next to it. And of course the next seat will have a bracket that snaps into the clamp. It's a really easy setup. Depending on how many seats you have to connect, it might be a bit heavy to move around if it's on a carpet. Thankfully, mine is on a laminate floor, so I can easily slide them around on my own. And the last thing for setup was wiring. It's pretty simple because the wiring for the lights, motor, and power is pretty simple as they all pretty much just snap into one another. My one complaint about setup and wiring is cable management because you can't daisy chain the power together from one seat to another. For example, if I take the three in a row or the two in a row, it doesn't matter which one, the seat on the far edge furthest away from the power outlet I would, would hope that it could take that seat and plug it into the one next to it, and the middle one would then plug into the one closest to the power outlet. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Every single seat must have its own dedicated wire power connected to a power bar, so cable management is not that easy. Using my three-seater as an example, to get around these issues in my setup, I placed all three seats wiring in the middle, and I placed the power bar under the same seat. This means all chairs' powers are under one seat and only one power bar wire sticks out from the power outlet. At the back bottom of each seat, there's Velcro that helps cover up cables, but it's not that effective because as you Velcro it, the leather goes up, which might expose and show the cables at the back, so kind of a strange design. Despite the high price tag, these seats are incredibly comfortable. This is the most important thing and probably where most of the money goes to and for good reason. I'm the type of person that doesn't buy seats, sofas, bed mattresses, and other such items online. I need to test them in person to see if they're comfortable. I purchased these home theater seats online without trying them and I don't regret it. Whether the seats are in a normal position or at any recline angle, they're incredibly comfortable. The lumbar area isn't adjustable, which I was a little concerned about for the comfort, but thankfully the seats have never given me any back pain. It's just pure comfort with this seat collection. At first I was concerned about the leather stitching quality just based on how it looked, but it seems to be made of premium quality which eliminated any concern I had. It also helps with comfort since the leather is soft to press and has decent cushioning throughout each seat. None of these seats have a manual lever. Each one has a motorized recliner which is used by the control buttons. The control panel with the buttons to recline are placed on either the left or right side of the armrest. Whether the control panel is placed on the left or right depends on how many connected seats you have. The control panel has a few items. The main one is a button to recline or decline. The second most important is a button to adjust the headrest. 
The headrest button is important because the further you recline, the harder it would be to lift your head to watch the TV. Having an adjustable headrest makes it easier for you to keep your head up. Another item on the control panel is the LED light control. Pressing it turns on a blue LED light around the cup holder and under the front of the seats. So I've had these recliners for almost two years and there's a problem. Two out of the five seats, the LED light control and the USB charging port, which I'll talk about later, stop working completely. What's concerning about this is that my wife and I use these seats about once a week, sometimes once a month, just because we're just so busy with kids and all that stuff. So they hardly get used, so it's concerning that the control panel for those functions wore out already. Mind you, the motor to recline the headrest and the actual seat still works on those two seats though. Now calling in customer service was incredibly polite, very professional, although they did direct me to submit a ticket on their website portal because they're short staff at the moment. But the advantage to this is I'm able to upload a video of me showing the issue, which helps our technicians understand what should be troubleshooted. They gave me some troubleshooting steps. Of course, they didn't fix the problem, unfortunately, so I have to get new control panels. Alas, the control panels are not covered under warranty. I have to pay extra for them. In fact, there's a big catch when it comes to the warranty. Not everything is included in a three-year manufacturer's warranty. The problem with this is that none of this is listed anywhere. When I got my seats from Costco online, Nothing was given to me, no pamphlet, no nothing. I had to just go based on what's on the website. Alas, the website has no information as to what's covered in the three-year manufacturer's warranty. So I'm just gonna put up this list here so you guys can read for yourself on what is covered and what's not. The last item on the control panel is a USB charging port, which is great for charging your phone or tablet, but it's disappointing that the port is a USB-A fitting and not USB-C. Each armrest has a storage compartment which has plenty of space for items like remotes or gaming controllers. I also placed a USB charging cable at each armrest for convenience to charge mobile devices. Each armrest storage is about 15 and a half by five by five inches. The last item to note is the cup holder which does an okay job. Most glasses I have fit just fine. However, if you have glasses meant for ones such as hard liquor, don't expect it to fit properly. It is disappointing because they have to sit at an angle, which means your drink could spill if it's too full. However, it can fit my wine glass just fine. The diameter of the cup holder is 7.8 centimeters. There are additional sold separate items. They include a wine holder, tray, and tablet holder. I have the wine holder since I tend to put my phone in my cup holder. The tray is a must have item. As you can place food or even something small like a mug of hot chocolate in the winter, it's able to rotate easily, and it's surprisingly sturdy and can hold a full plate of food easily. The tablet holder might be useless for most people. I'll admit, this is one accessory I don't have. Most people when sitting, like myself, especially in a recliner, will want to hold the tablet themselves and read. You know, the point of a tablet holder is kind of useless, although I can understand that in some cases if you're eating food, you might not want to hold it with one hand and scroll with the other. You might want to scroll with one and eat with the other hand, but uh, $99 here Canadian, it's really expensive just for a tablet holder. In fact, all the accessories are expensive here in Canada because each one is $99. The only way I can really justify that cost is the tray because it's just so useful. Items such as the wine holder can fit in the armrest but not the trays. The trays are too large so you'll have to just store them elsewhere or just leave them attached to the seats. Look, despite that two out of the five controllers for the LED lights and the USB charging ports don't work anymore and I hardly use these seats, I still don't regret my purchase because the customer service and technical support team are fantastic, although it led to another disappointment because I have to pay for something that I thought was covered in three-year manufacturer's warranty. Valencia has a great rating overall across all their products online, so it's a very reputable band. So that's the end of my review. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to check out my social links in the description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.